All right, so what we've got here is a 90-93 Hyundai Excel. Uh, this is the wiring harness for the engine, the wiring schematic. This is for Corvair Wild, who is uh, working on one of his tenant's vehicles. And it will uh, try to start in the start position, but not in the run position. And one of the relays over here, one side, when you manually trip this side, the engine will run. Now, what you've got here, this is the engine control relay. You've got a uh, 20 amp fusible link that powers all the devices that are on this relay. And so the fact that you can jumper or uh, manually push this relay down and uh, energize the fuel pump, and it looks like these sensors run off that same side of the relay. There's two contacts on this relay, and then another relay with two contacts. And this one looks like it's probably tripping like it should, which runs over to the uh, ECU. And I'm not the best with schematics, so I may be getting this wrong or some of this wrong, but um, I can kind of pick apart it. So, like I said, that's the one that's powering the relay, or this is the power that goes to these devices when the relay gets powered. Here's your ground wire, here's your trigger for the relay, which is a um, it's like a black and white wire coming from the ignition switch which they show in the run position but it probably always also jumpers over in the start position to power that same relay which also powers the coil the distributor and it looks like you know it jumpers a few times from those but you know this same relay powers all these, uh, let's see, well, I guess I'd have to look at some kind of a legend or something for this because it doesn't show, these are just, uh, doesn't show what these are for. Purge control solenoid, not sure what these are for. Anyway, it, it controls the, uh, looks like the hot side of these uh, solenoids. And then the, the ECM, or ECU, controls the, uh, the ground side of it. So, looks like these stay hot all the time. And then the ECU will just power the uh, negative side of these solenoids when it needs to. But, um, he has already swapped this uh, relay for another relay, and it didn't... Uh, didn't make a difference. So, I think what needs to be checked is the voltage on this black and white wire to see if it is hot when the ignition key is in the run position. And I'm thinking that it may not be. The only confusion I have is that in the run position, I think that this side of the relay is tripping. When, so when you turn the key on to run, it's tripping but I don't know if there could be some other way that that side's get, getting energized um, maybe through the ECU which is pulling its power uh, some other way I don't know like I said I'm not the best with schematics I can kinda piece apart and get some of it but Feel free to make comments. I'll post this uh, diagram in the uh, at the end of this video, where you can pause it and you know zoom in if you want. Um, also, I pulled this from AutoZone's website. If you go to AutoZone, uh, go to their uh, I don't remember if it's help or 
resources or something, but they you can get schematics for just about any vehicle. You got to register with their site, but uh, once you do, you just add your vehicle, and you can pull up all the diagrams, and they've got a lot of troubleshooting stuff too. So anyway, um, this is where I would start. Just make sure that there's voltage on this wire when the key is in the run position, and if there's not you know it's probably an ignition switch problem. If there is, then I guess I would check the voltage on this yellow wire which is the fuel pump wire. And then, because uh, I think the side of the relay that's not clicking on in the run position would be the uh, this fuel pump side. So, and this is a two-part relay. Um, and I'm guessing it would go in this order that these uh, these two could be powered separately from these two because it, it looks like two re two dual contact relays so that would be the four wires right here so I don't know if it it doesn't look like to me that it would ever power those separately which is kind of kind of weird because this wire is hot at all times so I'm not sure if this side over here is clicking on when you put it in the run position why this side wouldn't you know but anyway uh, feel free to comment on it you know if anybody can make more sense of this than me um, you know maybe we can uh, work through this and uh, figure out what the problem is without throwing a bunch of parts at it anyway thanks for watching